Hey guys, this is Jermaine Morgan and you're watching Jermaine Morgan TV. In today's episode, we're going to talk about getting a good tone, finding a good tone, so stay tuned. Alright, so welcome back. So with today's episode, I wanted to do something a little different. If you guys have been keeping up, you may have missed me on just, what, a couple of weeks ago. i actually been in a pretty, um, pretty serious writing process for my next album. I've been really, really, really working uh, day and night trying to get this thing done. And uh, we're getting really close to finishing it and getting ready to get it out there and that kind of thing. But what I wanted to do, I thought it would be really cool to bring you guys kind of behind the scenes and let you see how I create, where I create, that whole thing. So what you will hear on this record, you will hear a lot of my Warrior basses, the basses you see, the Isabella bass, the five string bass, and the uh, the six string bass that I play, and I'll, I'll play those in a minute. But one of the things I'm using to get a great sound on this record is I use the Avalon U5. No, I do not endorse Avalon or they don't endorse me, whatever you wanna say. But this is a great preamp if you're looking for a good preamp for bass, just to give you a nice, warm, fat sound. I run directly into this and I run into, I got an old school Personas board over here. I say old school because they, they've updated <laughs> since I had my stuff. But uh, that's what I use to get my sound. Uh, for those of you who are curious, I do record in Logic. Uh, I enjoy working in Logic. My process when I record is most of the time I'll demo stuff out first on the keyboard. You know, I'll play it. Sometimes I'll play keyboard drums or sometimes I'll even sit down to the drum kit and uh, I'll play out my idea and I'll send that out to my drummer who's going to play on the record. Once we get in here, it makes the process so much easier just to give that, you know, reference to my keyboard player, my drummer. For most of the stuff on my records in the past, I've played a lot of the auxiliary keyboard parts. Um, most of the guitar parts I do when I record my albums. So any of the guitar stuff you've heard on any of my albums, if you heard any of my albums. That's me playing a majority of the guitar stuff. And so, you know, I have a really good time playing it. Uh, I love playing guitar, love playing bass. I love playing all these other instruments. So as a producer, I'm able to really just kind of uh, let the guys know uh, what I want and translate that to them pretty clear so that they can, you know, take that and do what they will with it. This process is, is a really interesting process for me because this will actually be the first album that we are all collectively in the same room recording the whole album from start to finish versus recording remotely like I've done over the past years. Uh, sometimes I bring guys in, drummers and keyboard players here and there to record on different songs. But for the most part, I you know, have to send stuff out to people and that kind of thing and wait for them to send it back and get feedback or give feedback via telephone or email, that kind of thing. And this time will give me a really, really unique experience on my own music to have everybody in the room with throwing ideas back and forth and creating. So I'm really, really excited about that and I'm really excited about this next album. So with that being said, let's get into some of these tones and just kind of let you know my process of going through these different tones to find out what works for what songs. So hang on a second. You are already pretty familiar with uh, my Isabella bass and this bass has an incredible tone to it. Yes, this bass is made by Warrior. Both this and the six string that you see me play, I still have people that ask uh, what kind of basses are these. These are both Warrior basses, custom signature basses uh, built by Warrior. And uh, if you like it, you like the tone of it, yes, they can build you one just like this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. 
the website. They have a few newer uh, designs that they're kind of using right now. But yeah, they can build some great bases over there. And so with, with this base, I've just kind of just been going through the tones. I'm familiar with this bass, food for thought. Sometimes you can get so comfortable with your instrument that you can easily overlook all of the possibilities that are in that instrument. Like with this bass, uh, for instance, there are so many tones, but I've gotten so used to, because of the natural sound of this bass, I've gotten so used to having my one go-to tone. This bass has a lot of different tone options, and sometimes, again, you can get so comfortable with playing the same thing. People that have heard this bass and people that know me personally hear me play this bass, they know it. They know it for the, uh, the mid-range. And it's, it's, but that's really selling this bass short because it's all around a great sounding bass and there's so many other different tone options that I really sometimes, to be honest with you, I'm so much on the go and so much when, I, when I'm recording, I'm, uh, I'm either recording a song and I already got the sound in mind that I want, so I already kind of know how to dial that tone up, you know how it is, or if I'm playing a church service, or if I'm playing a gig, I already know the sound I want, so I already have that tone dialed up which in turn it doesn't give me the uh, opportunity to really sit and go through the tones like I really have since I've been writing this album because the songs have different sounds and so that's making me rethink the options with the the two main bases that I use like I said there are some other bases I am using with this project but the two main bases that I'm using for like solo and and even baseline stuff are this bass and that bass there which that bass has tons of tone options but so does this one and so like you know you might need to go through and just explore your base you might need to just start all the way over from the beginning and just pull everything down or at least down to halfway and because when you get to that halfway that's almost like setting everything at zero so right now the way I got this particular base set everything is down uh, and I'm not boosting anything still a really nice sound It's somewhat of a different tone, but when I start boosting stuff and start giving it a little more presence, a little more low end, you can feel it a lot more. And that's not even me boosting too much. Now, if I start digging in and pulling out some of that, that mid-range just a little bit, you hear a lot of more body starts to take shape in there. And that's just that's one sound option with this particular bass. Now, if we start rolling back to that back pickup, you you start getting into a whole other. Let's just say if I want that mid range there to be a little bit more aggressive. Now I'm starting to boost my mid range. Now, as I've said before on other videos. These bases, your base is not set up like my base. And, and and again, it's all about your personal preference. I mean, me, I'm just kind of going through here. And... <laughs> Figuring out what I like and just kind of trying to find the best tone that suits me. And what I do is I just kind of go through process of elimination and just really go through all these settings. I mean, I mean, boost my pan all the way to the front pickup and see do I even like the sound of that and then blend my mid-range in, you know, not not boost my highs with that. See how I like that. Now uh, pull my uh, mid-range all the way out of that. More of a little smiley face type EQ. But it's still something I can live with. And the thing is, I'm saying with these, it's so many different tone options in every bass. A lot of times we just don't give each instrument the benefit of a doubt because we're so used to it. We've gotten so comfortable with our instrument that we think we've explored all of these options, but you'd be surprised. I guarantee you, I'm gonna make you a bet that after this video, once you start really sitting with your bass and going through the tones, I guarantee you, you'll find at least 
three tones on your bass that you probably haven't used before. It don't matter what kind of bass it is, I'm almost willing to bet. So you leave a comment below after this video and let me know what you came up with. But while we're talking about tones, that brings me to another point. Let's talk about this shirt. If any of you have been following like social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, any of your bass greats are wearing shirts and you're seeing this logo on them. You're seeing that bass clef logo on them with the Lathan below it. That's called Lathan Basswear. It's a company that makes great shirts, bass apparel for bass players exclusively. So go check them out. The website link is below. Really, really great guy that makes this stuff. And I'm really proud to be wearing it, you know. Uh, got a couple of t-shirts from him and I wear them from time to time. I even wore a couple of them to a few of my gigs. So that's some really cool shirts to wear if you need some bass gear, some bass apparel to put on. So check them out. I just wanted to give him a quick shout out because it's some really cool stuff. A lot of my bass peers wear the same shirts or they got different shirts, a lot of different style of shirts. And I'm pretty sure that he's coming out with some new designs if you haven't saw any of his latest shirts. So be sure to head on over to Lathan Basswear and check him out. Some really, really cool stuff he has for bass players. Now back to the tones. Now those were just a few of the tones I can get from that bass, the Isabella bass. Uh, that's the name of that model. Now this is one of one of my go-to basses almost for any of my live performances or anything like that. It's so many capabilities with this bass. It just has a, a completely different sound. <laughs> Now this bass, I feel so at home when I play this bass. Don't get me wrong, both basses are very, very comfortable to play. But this bass just has a another thing that makes me feel at home, makes me feel more expressive. And it's for a funny story because for a long time I was really afraid to actually try a six string bass because I didn't want to get confused. But the more time I spent on this bass, the more I fell in love with this bass. Uh, and it just... It became like a, an extension of who I am. So that's one thing I, I'll tell you. Just like you continue to learn about yourself, the more you kind of get in tune with who you are uh, as a person, you should be getting in tune with your instrument because this piece of wood and these strings and these bolts and these electronics and all this different stuff and all these names are great. But the biggest thing is this should be an extension of who you are. This should be an extension of what you want to say on the inside. It should be able to come out uh, when you play that instrument. So you want to make sure that you're able to connect the best way possible Even in the tone of uh, the way you want to talk when you want to talk to somebody You want to tell them something and you want to know that it's heartfelt when you say it to them You want to you want them to know that you're serious about what you're saying It's important that you spend that time to learn how to speak with this instrument it's as far as going through it and learning all of the different tones and not just blowing through it thinking you've learned everything about the instrument give it a chance go back and revisit so again i'm challenging all of you to go back check your bass go through all of the tones and i guarantee you you're going to find at least three if you do comment below let me know and also give me some feedback on some things that you like to know or some things you like to hear from me some things maybe i could cover that i haven't explored yet that I do, some things that I do that you saw me do that I haven't explored how I do them. Let me know what those things are. Go back, check out some of the old videos and point to them, let me know what it is. And just give me some ideas of some things that you're looking for because I'm here to serve you. And I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope to catch you in the next video. And listen, don't forget, head on over to Lathon Basswear. Check out some of that bass gear, pick up some bass gear, man. And uh, also head over to JermaineMorgan.net Join the monthly membership if you are not already a member. Get on these lessons, you're missing out. I have plenty of courses over there, riffs and licks courses, congregational uh, songs courses, uh, shout bump bass courses for church musicians, all that kind of stuff. It's all kind of stuff over there. So head on over there and check it out. And again, man, thank y'all for watching. I am out of here. Peace.